Hi, everybody. I know that this sermon is a little bit late from last Sunday, but I did want to take the time to speak about the gospel reading. Now, you'll notice that we are not in the Annunciation Church in Rochester. However, we are in St. Nicholas Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, the church where I grew up in, and I thought that it would be appropriate for me to do this Sunday sermon from the church that, as I said, I grew up in. Now, we have an interesting story today, or not today, we have an interesting story in last Sunday's Gospel reading. We have Christ now calling his disciples. He calls Philip, and then we have Philip who is calling Nathaniel. And there's an interesting uh, lesson to take away from that gospel reading. I know that many times in Sunday of Orthodoxy, we tend to make the sermons more about the triumph of the icons and the restoration of those icons, but, and sometimes the gospel story gets left behind. So I want to speak a little bit about that. Now, in this particular story today, we have two important things. Now, again, it's a gospel reading. There are many important things, but two important things I want us to focus on. One is the calling of Jesus to Nathaniel was very simple. Follow me. And immediately then, this is what Philip does. Philip's call to Nathaniel is a little bit more complex and a little bit more problematic, we'll see, and more reflects what happens when we now try to bring new people into the church. Now, when Philip calls Nathaniel, what does he say to him? He says, come and see. Originally, he tells him that he has found now the Messiah, and he tells him that he is from Nazareth. And what is Nathaniel's response? What good can come out of Nazareth? Sometimes similar to the responses that we get when we invite people to church. Either they've had a bad experience with church or they didn't grow up necessarily in the church. And so they really don't see what good can come out of the church. So many times we are in the position of Philip. Now notice that in Philip's answer, he doesn't address the controversy about what Nathaniel said about does anything good come out of Nazareth. He goes directly to what? Come and see. And that's now what we should take from this gospel reading, or one of the things we should take from this gospel reading is that when we invite somebody, let's not get caught up in the controversies and all of the drama sometimes of what has happened in the past, but come and see who we are as a community. And three things for us to remember when we invite somebody to church. Number one, make it a personal encounter. This is what people really appreciate and what people connect to. We are communal and relational beings. Remember what it says in Genesis, it was not good for man to be alone. Number two, don't get caught up in negative attitudes. Just say, come and see. And then number three, and probably most important, make sure that when you invite them to come and see, that what they're coming to see is actually then the living body of Christ, that you make that also a personal encounter so that they can see what a wonderful community we have.